Hello everybody and welcome to this fourth Saturday garden update for May. Here we are at the front under the tree. We've got the Cockneyster plants. They're looking really good. This little one here is starting to produce the little berries, little red berries. Then they get lots of bumblebees on them. Normally by this time of year. Um, here's the tree. It's now starting to reproduce some new branch, some new leaves, um, which is good. It means it's not dead, which I'm very happy about. Um, here's all of the um, comfrey plants and the hebes. The hebes don't look good. You can see they're really thinning out now and they're starting to go yellow. They just don't seem very happy here in this little passageway where I've got them. Uh, the comfrey, however, is looking great all round. These little planters, I'm thinking I would really like to get some more flowers to go in them. And I am growing some new lupins at the moment, which I'm going to plant in there. Here, some of the flowers from originally from those planters are spreading to the driveway. Here we are in the garden, and yes, we've got um, these hanging baskets. The flowers in those hanging baskets really look sad because of the terrible frost we've had in April. But the spirea here and the lavender are looking really nice. The lavender is really sending out lots of growth, which I'm very happy about. These hanging baskets are just terrible. They've all turned to leaves. Because April was such a cold April that we've not had for so many years. Even the hydrangea here is looking really sad. It's had to pretty much restart its growth. Everything's going to be late this year. This, um, the cornflowers are all okay though. They're coming out just fine in amongst all the rest of the greenage here. This little tree is normally covered in a pink blossom. 2019, in May 2019 I did a video. Same with this um, video one here. Two years ago, these were covered in blossom. And yeah, the rest of them, the hebes, yeah, these, they're doing much better here. And we've got some, got some nice little flowers coming along there. There's a bee on one of the um, cornflowers. And yeah, there's the red hot poker growing. It'll be a few months, normally August, before that grows. There's the white buddleia sending out lots of new branches. I mean, that's one thing that's not struggling from the cold weather. There's the red robin at the back, looking okay. And this little bush here, nice and yellow, nice and bright. And there's the globosa buddleia. And the mock orange looking really nice. It's sending out little white buds which are the flowers. Probably next month you'll see those will be open. Hopefully June will be a bit warmer. Blue, we've got lots of bluebells growing outside the aviary. Here's a new project I built this month which is this little grow raised bed grow box and there's the old raised bed from two years ago that appeared in March. I'm now reusing it here in the aviary again. I've got the Russell Lupins growing in it on that right side under the desk. And on the desk here we've got these little pots uh, with more things in. We're gonna and and uh, here's the water butt that I I got given from one of my neighbours that they didn't want anymore. So I've can now store even more water. And uh, I've raised the height of this little unit here, and I've put this little. Um, I reuse some of this foam to try and hide these bottles because they look a bit hideous when they're, you know, they catch your eye a bit because they're quite colourful. So I've now calmed this area down, and in there I've got all my um, new plant trays. I'll show you what I've got growing in there. So here in the aviary, here in this um, propagator, this is all lettuce in the top here, and that's now starting to come through quite nicely. And I've got some onions that are starting to grow as well. We'll see how they come along. And some more lettuce here and some other things like carrots, lots of strawberries, raspberries. Um, there's only, I think, only one of those trays is carrots. There's some celery, there's some leeks. Yeah, that sort of thing. Up there, you've got your oak trees. There are 2020 oaks. These are my last year oaks. And comfrey, I've taken some cuttings of. I want to try and plant some around the garden. Uh, and yes, here's my attempt at a uh, good attempt at recycling. I'm using this milk bottle to grow some spring onions, and already they've started to grow, which I'm very happy about. Here we are going past the gym, and through this little gap here, I've got this water butt, and you'll never guess what it is full of rainwater where we've had gallons of it falling from the sky. 
lately, which uh, April showers in May. And here's the uh, um, the runner beans, the dwarf beans. I've planted all of these out now, and I've put lots of good soil with them. Uh, there's some nice logs in the corner, so it attracts some of the good bugs to the garden, hopefully. Inside the old log store, we've got... I'm using this now for storage of things like pots and water and soil and whatnot, that, so I can just use them when I want to plant more stuff like this. Um, here's a little space I've got for more things I want to plant, like strawberries and and, and uh, other plants. Here's the uh, pepper plant collection, and they just haven't grown much since the last since last uh, month. Uh, the sunflower is looking good though. Um, I've got lots of spare soil again, and here's the six um, good plants, each from a different flower um, and a cross-pollination attempt of last year that I've managed to grow on, but they don't look very happy because of how cold it's been. Here's more seeds from the same fruits for those, that those plants were, all very small still. Here's a little collection of straw, mainly strawberry, strawberries that I've planted, so I'm hoping to get a few strawberry bushes in a few months' time. And here we are, here's the more storage things I've got. Here's the uh, allotment extension, and that's the video update for May.